The gut is one of the most regenerative organs in the human body. Every few days, its lining is replaced entirely, a process driven entirely by intestinal stem cells that respond dynamically to diet and stress. For years, researchers have known that certain dietary patterns like calorie restriction or fasting can enhance the regenerative potential, but the precise signals behind that effect have remained unclear. Now, new research from MIT has discovered an amino acid that helps the gut heal itself. For the first time, scientists have pinpointed a single nutrient capable of directly boosting the gut's regenerative capacity, and the molecular reason for the effect is a reminder that the gut isn't just digesting our food, it's listening to it. This is Daily Value, and I am your host, William Wallace. A critically important question in physiology is how tissues adapt to diet, how their cells change in response to what we eat. The intestine illustrates this well. It renews its inner lining every few days, driven by a small population of intestinal stem cells. Past studies have shown that lacking certain amino acids, like threonine, methionine, or valine, can limit the body's ability to regenerate tissue. What has not been clear is whether some amino acids might do the opposite actively enhancing regeneration. These stem cells exist within a specialized environment known as the stem cell niche. It's a miniature ecosystem of supporting cells that communicate constantly to maintain balance. Panath cells release nutrients and growth factors that help stem cells divide. Fibroblasts send chemical cues that tell them when to rest or renew. Neurons transmit metabolic signals between the gut and the nervous system, and immune cells secrete cytokines. These are small proteins that control inflammation and gut tissue repair. Together, this system ensures the gut lining stays both stable and capable of rapid regeneration. Cysteine stands out as a particularly interesting amino acid. It contains sulfur that allows it to neutralize oxidative stress and serve as the primary building block for glutathione, which we know as a major antioxidant in the body. Long valued for those properties, cysteine is now being investigated for a newer role influencing how intestinal stem cells regenerate and communicate with immune cells. To determine how specific nutrients influence gut regeneration, researchers at MIT recently tested all 20 amino acids, the basic building blocks of proteins. Each amino acid was given in controlled doses followed by an analysis of intestinal tissue to see how stem cell activity changed. One stood out. Cysteine produced the strongest effect, dramatically increasing both intestinal stem cells and their precursor cells, the immature cells that eventually form new gut lining. To test whether this was simply due to cysteine's antioxidant role, the team also examined related compounds like glutathione and taurine. Neither triggered the same response. This meant cysteine was acting through a unique signaling mechanism independent of its well-known antioxidant properties. When mice were fed a cysteine-rich diet for several days, the effect became even clearer. Stem cells taken from these mice form far more organoids, miniature lab-grown replicas of actual gut tissue, showing that cysteine directly enhanced regenerative potential. After radiation-induced injury, animals on the cysteine-rich diet also showed faster repair of the intestinal lining and more actively dividing stem cells. But the most surprising finding came next. Cysteine did not act alone. The cysteine-fed mice had more CD8-positive T cells embedded within the intestinal lining. Those are immune cells that, when isolated and combined with stem cells in culture, amplify regeneration even further. This revealed that cysteine's regenerative effect isn't purely cellular. It's coordinated, linking metabolism, immunity, and tissue repair through direct communication between stem cells and T cells of the immune system. The researchers discovered that cysteine doesn't act on stem cells directly. It activates the immune system to do it. When intestinal cells absorb cysteine from food, they convert it into coenzyme A, which is a small molecule involved in energy metabolism. Once in the mucosal lining, immune cells that help monitor and protect tissues take up this compound. That uptake acts like a signal, triggering them to multiply and release a powerful messenger called interleukin-22 or IL-22. IL-22 is a cytokine that's a type of immune signal that promotes the regeneration of intestinal stem cells after injury. 
Mice lacking this did show slower repair and fewer active stem cells responsible for rebuilding the gut lining. The surprising part is that these immune T cells, typically known for killing infected or damaged cells, were actually producing IL-22 themselves, directly linking the immune system and tissue repair together. And because these T cells cluster within the small intestine where most amino acids are absorbed, they're perfectly positioned to respond quickly when the gut is injured. By enhancing intestinal stem cell activity after injury, this study suggests that dietary cysteine could help restore the gut's epithelial barrier. That's the thin layer of cells that separates the intestinal wall from everything that we eat, basically. That barrier is often weakened by chemotherapy, radiation infection, or chronic inflammation, and its repair depends on how well stem cells and immune cells coordinate regeneration. Cysteine is already common in the diet. It's found in high concentrations in poultry pork, eggs, yogurt, cheese, and whey protein, as well as in plant sources like lentils, chickpeas, sunflower seeds, oats, and soy. Garlic and onions also contain sulfur compounds that contribute indirectly to cysteine metabolism. The body can also make cysteine from another amino acid, methionine, through reactions in the liver, but that endogenous cysteine circulates throughout the bloodstream rather than concentrating in the intestine. Dietary cysteine is different. It's absorbed directly in the small intestine, meaning this tissue experiences the highest exposure before the molecule is distributed elsewhere. That local delivery may be why the regenerative effect in the new study appeared in the small intestine and not in the colon or the large intestine. Now, it's important to note that this was a mechanistic study in mice designed to uncover how the pathway works. This study shows that nutrients aren't just fuel or building blocks. Their information. Molecules from food can communicate directly with immune and stem cells, shaping how tissues sense injury and rebuild themselves. Cysteine happens to be one example, an amino acid that reveals just how coordinated this communication can be. But the principle is broader. The gut isn't a passive organ waiting to be repaired. It's responsive and it's adaptive and constantly translating diet into molecular instructions for renewal. And that's what makes this discovery important. It reframes nutrition, not as a background variable, but as part of the body's repair language, one that scientists are only beginning to decode. The next time you think about what you eat, consider that your gut isn't just digesting it, it's listening to it. Thank you for joining me today on Daily Value. Until next time, stay healthy.